Peace, love, and light family. As you can see, we have a new setting. Uh, still the same messages. And uh, let's get into the messages for today. Uh, before we start the video, we're going to say take what resonates, discard the rest. If you find that this video resonates with you, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's get into the messages. What message do you have? for the Divine Family, for the Scorpios today. What message? Okay, we have Nana Baluku Seasons. I'm going to read what this says. What does Nana Baluku have to tell us today? All right, that's number one. Okay, Nana Baluku is telling us she is the goddess of seasons from Benin temple threshold guardians her element is air nana baluku is the most high supreme being primordial mother grandmother of all the orishas deities and daomi's wise woman herbalist and healer you have entered a new cycle that is very old allow yourself to become present trust in divine timing don't be in such a hurry. There are no short, shortcuts here. Are you ready for a new beginning? You are in or entering a new season that will force you to evolve. This is a time of major transition. You are not stuck. You are holding on to old patterns. Change can be terrifying. Allow yourself to be mentored. When you choose a new path, you are right for self-sabotage. When you choose a new path, you are right for self-sabotage. A commitment test from the universe may pop up to delay this new pathway. Stay the course. Your time is now. I am limitless is the goddess declaration. There are a lot of messages that spirit is sending through this, uh, through Nana Baluku. And first and foremost, she's talking about cycles, entering into a new cycle and how scary it can be. And right off while I was reading this, uh, Spirit was telling me that, and I think we've had this message before, uh, that many of you are entering, uh, excuse me, many of you are entering new cycles. And those cycles can be quite scary, okay? Um, taking a new path can be quite scary. And you get to trust the divine. You get to trust the path that the universe has laid out for you. you I mean, we a lot of us have been through so much where it was nothing but the divine that we could rely on to to take us through so um there's really no reason you know there's really no reason for us not to trust but as humans you know it happens it happens where even though the most high even though the universe all the guides uh, have provided for us you know throughout the course we still tend to forget because you know, we are still uh, in this carnal mind trying to, um, trying to figure things out, right? Trying to figure things out. But your season is now. And the darkness that you have gone through was necessary to bring light.
It was necessary to bring light. The darkness was necessary to bring forth light. And many of you have your ancestors, your guides, who are continually behind the scenes watching and guiding. You get to uh, pour libations for them, acknowledge them, because sometimes that's how you unblock the pathway is to acknowledge the divine forces that are walking with you. In fact, that is the way to, dev to unblock the pathways so that way you can get to and through the seasons in your life. So pour those libations, leave the offerings that you need to tap into your ancestral lineage, where you come from, what you come from, what you came through, who you came through, are all very important at this time. Okay, I'm going to pull some cards and see if there are some further messages from Spirit. What other message does Nana Bulu do? have for us, Spirit. What message does Nana Muruku have for us? Okay, Knight of Pentacles. Uh, many of you are actually facing a situation in which there's going to be some income coming in. Um, there is an offering. There's some monetary offering that's going to be coming towards you. And um, let's see, what else? What else about this Knight of Pentacles? Okay. I have the the hierophant. Okay. This is this knight of pentacles is going to bring in some additional opportunities. So this financial opportunity that's coming is also going to bring some other opportunities uh in order for you to further either your education or some course that you've been working through. Some of you may be going through, um, I keep hearing initiation. Some of you are priests and priestesses of, of various African traditions going through the initiation process. Um, and Spirit is saying that these finances are going to allow you um, the, the, the financial means in order for you to go through those um the processes that's going to allow you to attain the change that you need to unblock your pathway to move forward in your path Let's see if we can get some more clarity what else does Anna Buluku have for us Oh yeah, the magician. Tapping into those, tapping into, I keep hearing the, 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 the sh doing the shadow work. I keep hearing the dark side. I keep hearing, uh, tapping into, you know, your innermost being is going to allow you to have 
an extreme amount of creativity and it's going to enable you to manifest a lot of wonderful things. So this season that you are currently in, it's it's not meant to be for long. In fact, Spirit is saying that things are fast moving. Um, new blessing, divine abundance is coming really fast. And you get to, to do the work to manifest. Uh, many of you have already gone through um, the initiation process. And I keep hearing initiation, high priestess and priest uh priesthood and initiation that many of you are are going through um and some of these processes you get to um basically you know have the financial means that you need in order to to gain the information that is necessary that's going to provide you with that abundance of knowledge and um spirit is saying also to pay attention to the number one for many of you the number one may be significant you know there's been a lot of um this duality in the numbers where you know one card will come up and the clarifier will also have the same number so for me that's confirmation many of you um you know may be born in uh january um, number one may be significant in terms of your birth date, but, um, and when I think of number one, definitely I get a lot of, um, I get sun energy. So this, this ability to tap into your ancestral lineage is going to bring forward, bring forth a lot of light. It's going to bring forth um a great great ability to to manifest and this is going to allow you to basically start over refresh uh for many of you you know who you may be having new homes you may be having new cars a uh, new job basically you're going to i keep hearing becoming a new creature you are going to be reborn um, like the phoenix. And this is what, what we do, you know, as magicians, as those who go through transformations, you, you, you get to be reborn. And if you can see here, the magician has the, is holding the power in their hand and they're being divinely led and with this power they're able to call down um and i keep I keep hearing again as above so below they're able to call down all these wonderful uh things in the in in the in the physical realm okay they're able to call down love they're able to call down money they're able to even give life um you know, where there is no life, you can see these flowers growing. So you have so much power. Um, Spirit is definitely saying to tap into, you know, tap into uh, the, tap into your ancestral lineage. Um, I, I, I also hear the, the wise ones, the old ones. Okay, many of you, uh, this is definitely specifically African spirituality that you need to tap into in order to gain the clarity that will provide opportunities in order for you to do the work necessary that will gain you access as the magician, as the the one who is able to manifest and create new things some of you your projects are going to whatever you're working on projects that will bring an extreme amount of abundance and these projects will also connect you with people of like minds like spirits and you may even find love 
um, through these partnerships. So definitely connect with that ancestral knowledge and um and that that's basically where your power lies that's where you get to have your new beginning all right if this message resonates please like comment share and subscribe and i will see you next time